mandated that a child's health insurance includes dental. But as we live longer, we're finding out dental health is critical to overall wellness, especially as a Surgeon General report has found substantial links between oral health and everything from heart attacks to stroke to premature births. Isn't that wild? The history is strange, but the effects are no less real. HPV, oral cancer, diabetes, heart disease, they can all be caught early by a dentist. In 2007, a 12-year-old boy, he died when an infection moved from his gums to his brain, an extreme case. Do these plans have to remain separate, medical and dental? Could a universal system work? I talked with Evelyn Ireland. She's the executive director of the National Association of Dental Plans. It's a trade group that represents insurance providers. Most of us know we have a medical card and a dental card, and I understand there's kind of a, a colorful history of, you know, barbers were the original people who would extract teeth and things like that. But today, it comes down to things like billing codes and specialties. Like, why are medical and dental still separated? Dental disease, which is tooth decay and gum disease, uh, are preventable and not catastrophic. So the benefit is designed a little bit differently. Treatment is also rarely catastrophic, and most medical coverage was really designed to address catastrophic costs. The average annual maximum on a dental policy is about $1,500, and 95% of Americans with dental coverage never hit that annual maximum. There's also uh, the differences between medical and dental practice. Dental practices are separate, as you probably know, from medical practices. Medical practices are most often in groups, and they're usually affiliated with a hospital. And you would rarely need to go to a hospital for any type of dental treatment. Then there are uh, only a handful of dental specialties where health plans now, health plans now deal with about 150 medical specialties. And as you said, those medical specialists use CPT, which is a billing code that was developed by the American Medical Association. Dentists use CDT, which was developed by the American Dental Association. And those code sets are different. You know, you hear a Medicare for all, but thinking of that for a universal plan for, for dental coverage, would that be doable? Would it be helpful? Because a lot of people say, yeah, just give it, give it all to me, but then, you know, money, how would it be done? Right now, you have to buy medical coverage on those marketplaces to even shop for dental coverage. Mm -hmm. But the dental coverage is there. So it could be more available to people, particularly seniors, who now, when they come to the ACA marketplaces, get pushed out the back door to Medicare but they could shop for dental coverage there. And also people that are covered under small businesses and have a health policy could shop for dental insurance there. We don't know about or really frankly care about coding systems within the government and all of this. We just want affordable care. Do you see that becoming more realized in the future? You can buy a dental plan for a whole year for less than a single month's premium of medical. In terms of the connection between oral and overall health, most of the research that's been done in that area has been done by dental plans. Many NADP members uh, have conducted studies. They may be subsidiaries of health insurance plans or standalone dental plans that have worked with a health insurance carrier. They've conducted those studies and they're tracking the impact of dental benefits on uh, your overall health. So what you get when you integrate the coverage is the medical plan contracts with a dental plan to do the administration. So you get increased administrative costs. And historically, the dental plans that have participated with uh, medical plans and offered that coverage have found that people don't use their benefits when they're buried in a medical plan. The headlines tonight, today is Earth Day, the largest civic focus day of action in the world, but there's a lot of work to be done. New study claims there's a 